Halo 3 on Intel Z. Yes, what a time to be alive. Being able to play Halo 3 on the go. Gone are the days you need a discrete graphics card now or a bulky console. The new Intel processors, they have the new in the Iris Z graphics chips. They blow the previous UHD graphics out of the water. Oh my goodness, it's, it's awesome. So the great thing about Master Chief Collection for the PC, one of the recent updates now lets you actually find um, adjust the resolution on a slider bar versus having to drop down a specific resolution. So you, you have a lot more flexibility. Uh, T580, uh, starting with Halo 2. The name of the game, try to get 60 frames per second. No stuttering, no slowness. Uh, you gotta bring it down to 70% of resolution in order to get the most bang for your buck. Halo 3, you've gotta bring it down to 40% just so it's playable at 60 frames a second. Yeah, it sucks. It's really choppy, it's not fun. Going up to the new T14 G2, um, great thing about Halo 2 is you could literally play it at the full resolution and it's playable. I mean, it's perfect. I brought it down to 90% just because I noticed a little bit of um, jumping down to like the 50, 60 frames a second. So, but you know, it's, I just dumb it down just so I give my computer enough headroom. Halo 3, um, it does phenomenal. You know, I, I did dumb it down. It, it could play at 100, but it did dip below to like 40, 50 frames a second. Still very playable, but I just, you know, playing online, you don't want to chance it. I brought it down to 75. It still dips maybe like five frames to like 55, but it's playable. There's no stuttering, no nothing. It definitely feels a little better playing on it versus the older uh, T580. But yeah, I mean, 9075, these are. Uh, I, I, I love it. You know, it's perfect. Only thing that sucks with these thing pads, they've got really tiny vents, but let me tell you something. These things are incredibly powerful, reliable, great driver support. Um, yeah, I mean, they're great for LAN parties, portable guys. You just get the new controllers for the Xbox, they're Bluetooth, and it just syncs, you know, flawlessly. It just works out of the box. Let me know what you guys want to want to see. Um, I do have someone with a uh, a Steam Deck, so if you guys like this video, uh, we might do that, and I might do more performance tests. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, and uh, yeah.